What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing 5k Player. Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button. And also be sure to go ahead and check out my social media, I'm available on Twitter, Instagram, and also Snapchat. But here we go, this is 5k Player. And this is how it's going to look when you open it up. It's very, very basic, very, very simple to use. Now, for those that have watched my channel in the past, you may have remembered I have actually done a video on this program before. Now, the only difference is there is a new feature known as DLNA. So what does DLNA allow you to do? Well, it allows you to stream from your PC. So with the DLNA controller, stream media wirelessly from your PC to a DLNA compatible device and this can be a smart TV, an Xbox or even a PS4 and this can be playing music, this can be photos and this can also be movies on your computer. Now also there is a DLNA renderer which means you can receive and play media beam from Android and other DLNA devices. Now, from being honest with you, there is no smart TV in my household, so I cannot show you that. However, I will show you AirPlay later on in the video. So currently, you can see there's video, DVD, music, live, and YouTube. So if you go over to YouTube to start off with, you can download videos from YouTube using this program. So you'd paste the URL right here. This would then find that URL, and I'll actually get a video for you now. And I've just copied a link. I'm going to paste the URL. I'm going to see if it finds it before I say what it is. You can see it does actually take quite a long time. Um, this is going to be raw, of course, so you can see it did take a while. But it has found the correct video, and that is it right here. This is from Gary Vaynerchuk. If you don't watch him yet, then you should be. And there you go, you can see the resolution of 1280 by 720 Now, if you select this uh, setting button here, you can see these are other formats you can get it in. Now, a great thing here is audio. Now, I like this because for those that do watch Gary Vaynerchuk, you know he does do some motivational speeches. And if you just want the audio, then you can by all means select just the audio from here. It also tells you the file size right there as well. I'm going to select the video for the tutorial and I'm going to select done. From here, I'm going to select download. From here, this is going to um, show us how much is downloaded and how long is left, you can see. And just like that, your download begins from YouTube. Now heading back to 5k player you can see there is DVD. So what is DVD? You can see um, I actually don't have a DVD driver connected or built in with my laptop I have an external one but you can see you would select it from here if it's built in then it would already appear and here you can burn a disc very very simply right from 5k player. Next thing is music. So music within 5k player, you can use it as a music player. I have in the past. Not one I am, uh, to be honest, not the one I use, but you can use it as a music player as well. So it is an all-in-one. Then we have live. So I believe this is live music, live radio. You can see right here. Let's just go ahead and give it a test. We'll do uh, BBC Sports. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like that. It's very, very nice. It's, it's got us thinking. Super to lovely. Whoa. There we go. So you can see that does work, which is really good to see. Um, and then moving on to the final thing, which is AirPlay. So you can see AirPlay is turned on. Now what I'm going to do is head over to my iPhone and activate AirPlay. So we'll see if this works. You can see on my music, 5K Player has showed up. So I'm going to select 5K Player. 5k player have informed me that video playback does not work over airplay meaning if you're going to watch youtube and you want to watch it on airplay using 5k player it will not work as it is not supported so for this demonstration i'll be testing it with the music on my iphone not a video and you can see just like that it does work and it's very very responsive even when skipping through the song it skips straight away there is no delay 